is far from over. We've got teams looking to keep their undefeated seasons alive and some hoping for that first win. Either way, our local athletes are fighting hard each week. Let's keep the highlights rolling. The Highland Bulldogs make their way down to Marion to play the Wildcats. Marion QB Evan Noel completes a pass to Venson Newsom, who jukes and runs his way into the end zone. Bulldogs trying to catch up. Brent Woobles runs for his life, makes the pass to Jarrett Cruz, diving catch. What a play. Then it's the next play. Travis Porter runs it in for the touchdown. Marion looks to extend their lead. This time, Rody Larson. He's going to punch it in for six more. The Wildcats take this one 48 to 28. Waterloo on the road in Carbondale. Bulldogs up 28-0 at the half. Carbondale tries the onside kick to start the second half, but the ball doesn't make it 10 yards, so the Bulldogs start the third with good field positioning. Terrier defense was able to hold Waterloo, force them to punt. Carbondale just couldn't get much working on offense tonight, and the Bulldogs came out on top 38-14 over the Terriers. Getting set for a cross-conference match in the Ripper River as DuCoin hosts Heron, a scoreless first. DuCoin's Nick Brown needs 16 yards for the score. He gets 15, taking it down to the one. Very next play, Gabe Adams plunges ahead for the score. Indians are up 6-0. Heron gets in on the action. Cam Cameron Everett tries to get to the corner, comes up just short. Very next play, he rolls out, finds a hole to run through. Extra point, puts Heron up 7-6. DeCoin retakes the lead on this one yard run from Gabe Adams. It's a back and forth affair in the fourth. Nick Brown breaks it to the outside. The only one catching him is the ref, but he's just gonna watch Brown run into the end zone to make it 19-10. Indians hold on for a 26-23 win over Heron. And here's what head coach De DeCoin's head coach, Derek Beer, had to say about the game. We kind of knew uh, what we were getting into there. We, we couldn't practice on Monday as a team. Um, so we, we practiced on Tuesday and Wednesday, had a walkthrough yesterday and come out tonight with, with seven new starters on defense. And man, it's just, uh, it was it was kind of rough in the beginning. You know, we, we gave up some big plays early, but you know, we rebounded, we, we made some, uh, forced some turnovers. And you know, that, those turnovers were huge in this game. And that's a 26-23 final to coin get in the W. And the Jonesboro knocks off Massac County 28-27. Nashville took on Westland tonight at home. Nashville gets the dub 42-8. Freebird falls to Chester 40-34 in double overtime. Freebird's record falls to 2-1 on the season. And tomorrow, Sparta will take on West Frankfurt at 11 a.m. and Benton will host Pickneyville at 7. We'll have all those highlights, of course, tomorrow in our 10 p.m. newscast. Thank you for joining us. It's been another great week of high school football. News 3 will continue to be your home every Friday for all your local highlights from our Southern Illinois high school football teams. We'll see you next time.